are the top five movement bugs in Lego Fortnite. Movement is still really dry in Lego Fortnite, meaning it's very hard to get around unless you've created some sort of vehicle. So today I'm gonna show you a few bugs and glitches which involve things like food ranging from corn on the cob, fried egg and pumpkin pie to using grapplers and a grappler glitch that gives you unlimited resources and a really unique trick that only works with a pickaxe. The title says five bugs in this game to help with movement. I'm actually gonna show you six towards the end of the video. This first one is the flying glitch with a pickaxe. All that you guys need to do is swing your pickaxe and in the middle of the animation, pull your grappler and then let go of your grapple and swing your pickaxe again. And if you repeat this over and over and over again, what you're gonna notice is my stamina bar really isn't moving and I'm not falling to the ground as fast as I typically would if I just held out my grapple. This has been in the game for a few months now, but it makes it incredibly easy to travel around the map simply by using your pickaxe and glider to make yourself fly further around the map and you guys could go ahead and actually mix this together when it comes to geysers to make movement inside of the desert valley the craziest movement in the entire game you could also do this with launch pads that you build as well so jump onto a launch pad and use this glitch until you guys get to your next launch pad or use this with a geyser until you get yourself to another geyser and you're not going to run out of stamina and you're going to fly much further and much higher than you typically would in game now this may be a placebo meaning it may not actually do anything but it looks like it does using your grapple on a geyser does make it seem like you're pushing yourself forward a little bit more, which means that you're not going to use as much stamina while using this glider. Now, again, you are going to be using your grapple in order to do this, but again, you're traveling much further and you're using less stamina while jumping around the map. So you guys can once again, pair this up with everything that I've already taught you, fly much further in the game by simply using the grapple on a geyser and you're actually gonna propel yourself forward much further than you would if you simply jumped into that geyser. Now, another little trick that you guys can do, which touches on step one, is propel yourself with that grapple into the geyser and then do that pickaxe flying glitch. You're gonna see that once again, you're already using bare minimum stamina, but now using that pickaxe glitch along with this glitch of using your grapple on that geyser, you're gonna use way less stamina when traveling around the dry valley. And again, this could be used as well when it comes to your launch pads or jump pads that you place around the map. Now I've posted this a few times on the channel, but this is the best glitch in the game right now and it really isn't close. If you guys have grapples that aren't fully charged, drop your entire inventory except for your grapples. You're gonna wanna place a bed down and set that as your bed, go into your menu and then respawn your character. Now, once you guys press that respawn button, you'll spawn in that bed that you just placed down or if you were in your home village at your home bed. All that you guys wanna do is completely ignore that backpack and pick up the items that you placed next to the backpack. From here, you're just gonna go ahead and split every single item that you have. That way that you fill up your entire quick bar and offhand, as well as your inventory. If there's any spots that aren't filled up, when you open up this backpack, it'll automatically put the grapples into your inventory and they will not recharge. So we wanna fill every single spot up on this map or inside of this inventory and hot bar. And once we go ahead and choose to open up that backpack, they should fall off on the floor. Now that for whatever reason recharges all of them, pressing that merge button will allow you to go ahead and open up those inventory places. And now when I add all three, I'll have 90 total charges or three refreshed grapples. This is by far the best in the game and takes less than a minute to do. Next up is special foods. Now, a lot of people are very picky about what foods they actually bring along with them, but corn on the cob will actually increase your stamina regeneration. Pumpkin pie does this as well. And and fried egg does this along with some other items as well but I just wanted to show off the difference between three different type of regenerations now corn on the cob will increase your stamina regeneration just not all that fast compared to the other ones you'll see that when I stop running my stamina will regenerate and it actually goes quicker than if I didn't eat 
any food at all. So this is extremely nice when you're going on long distances, if you're hitting geysers and using your grapple, having that regeneration helps a ton. Now, depending on the number that shows up in the top left corner of the screen, for those two minutes, that'll dictate whether or not you're getting faster regeneration or slower regeneration. So the lower the Roman numeral, the slower it's going to regenerate. The higher the Roman numeral, the faster it's going to generate. So you can see corn on the cob is actually a faster regeneration than what my corn was. Now, when I go ahead and I eat a pumpkin pie, it may take a little bit longer to eat, but they did allow you to start walking or running while eating. But now you see that this regenerates my stamina much faster compared to other foods, which makes pumpkin pie and any pie that regenerates your stamina much better to use. And again, this lasts for two minutes at a time. So that means if you're hitting a geyser and you're worried about not having your grapple or your glider to pop out because you're running out of stamina, just land a few seconds before you hit that geyser and these pies or these eggs and corn and different food types should regenerate your stamina much faster, allowing you to hit these geysers a little bit faster than waiting until your stamina fully replenishes. So make sure that you guys take a look at every food in the game to see which ones will go ahead and replenish your stamina although things like pumpkin pie may be the best in the entire game now for the fifth thing i don't know if this is necessarily a glitch or what it is about this however when you guys are sprinting if you just simply let go of your sprint button or you stop yourself in your auto sprint right before it's going to end it'll actually allow you to continue to sprint at any time during your sprint so if i stop this right now and then i go ahead and choose the sprint while it's halfway i can do that now that may not seem like a bug or anything weird to some of you guys however Typically, when you run your entire stamina bar out, it'll turn red and then a button or a screen will show up that says, oh, you cannot run anymore because you don't have any stamina. This actually completely prevents that and allows you to pretty much infinitely run around the map, just not when it's at that very bottom tier of your stamina bar. So when you guys are running, try to keep an eye on that bar. If you guys stop this at all times from pretty much hitting that empty mark, then you guys are always going to be able to sprint, hit geysers, pull out your glider and move the best that you can. Again, I don't know if this is a bug. I just don't see how Epic decided, hey, let's allow people to you know, keep their stamina rather than having this issue where it says cannot sprint low stamina, can't pull out their glider, but there's a way to counter that simply by not finishing your stamina bar, if that makes sense. It doesn't make sense to me. However, I think that this is a bug. Maybe it's not. You guys decide down in the comments, but I think this is a really solid bug in the game that helps every single one of us out. Now, the final thing that you guys need as far as movement bugs go is obviously just going to be a flying vehicle. Now, I've broken down a few things like this before, but these are by far the most simple and easiest things to maneuver in the game, especially the one that I'm building for you on screen right now. This takes one dynamic foundation, four balloons, and then a few pieces of wood along with five thrusters and an activation switch. A lot of people make some really crazy ones online that have chests attached to them and turning devices and things like that. But the reality is that none of that stuff works very well in the game because the chest will break your ship. You'll go ahead and you'll come back and stuff just won't align right or your turning stations will go ahead and break. This is actually by far the easiest thing to build and make in the game as the materials are extremely easy to go ahead and find, but also you can turn and float really fast with this as well. All that you need to do is actually just open up and put these stairs on either side and that'll tilt this one way or the other and actually turn your entire vehicle for you, which makes this the best build in the game. Now, I know a lot of us have talked in the comment section about hoping that Epic adds preset builds for flying devices, boats, vehicles or anything that helps with movement in this game and i'm hoping for it just as much as you guys are this flying device is really solid there's not many complaints that i have about this just that the turning takes a little bit longer than you would want because you're technically tilting it rather than actually turning but nonetheless preset builds could come into the game at some point in time it wouldn't surprise me if they're working on something like that seeing so many people complain about how building things like this just don't work all that well as you see i destroyed my 
my entire thing by accident. But I know that Epic has to be working on something. I know they're playing the long game. They want this game to be the best game in the world. And I'm sure they're looking at some of the things that the community is saying and making changes to that. So I hope that this video helps every single one of you guys out as far as movement goes. If there's any more glitches or bugs that you guys know of, make sure to put them down in the comment section below and I'll pin your comment to let everybody know what else you're doing in order to move around the map better than the rest of us.